Hello, my name is Sarah Larkin and I am the statewide math consultant for the Iowa Educational Services for the Blind and Visually Impaired. This video will begin to look at a second way the abacus can be used to address not enough beads in the column you are adding or subtracting from. In other words, you're going to have to regroup or rename. This method, instead of the counting method, is called the indirect method. This method uses the idea of just adding a 10 in the next column and then subtracting the amount you went over by pushing that many beads away in the ones column. The student must have the concept of how many more were added to use this approach. Let's try a few using this method. We'll start with 5 plus 6. So I'm going to put 5 beads up in my ones column. Now I need to add 6, so I look to see if I have 6 to add and I don't. Because of that, I'm going to go ahead and add 10. The problem is I added 10 instead of 6. So I actually added 4 too many. That means I need to take 4 away to compensate. So 4 away in the 1's column, 1, 2, 3, 4, leaves me 11 for an answer. 5 plus 6 is 11. All right, let's try the next one. 53 plus 7, 5 10s and 3 1s. And now we're going to add 7. I look to see how many beads I have in that 1's column to add. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, I needed to add 7. So instead, we're going to add a 10. But I was supposed to only add 7, so that means I added 3 too many. So we're going to subtract 3 off in the 1's column, leaving me with 60 for an answer. 53 plus 7 is 60. All right, clear the abacus for one more addition problem. 54, 5 10s, and 4 1s. Now we're going to add 39. See if I have enough 10s to add. I do. So I'm going to add my 3 10s. And now I'm going to see if I have the 9 1s to add. No, I only have 5 1s. Since I need to add 9, I'm going to add 10 instead. But that was one too many, so I'm going to take one away for an answer of 93. 54 plus 39 equals 93. So as long as I understand how many more I actually added so that I can compensate for that, uh, this method will work for that particular student. Now, when subtracting this, me this method uses the idea of just subtracting a 10 away from the tens column and then adding the amount you went over by pushing that many beads up in the ones column. So again, we're just compensating for what we're doing. The students must have the concept of how many more were subtracted to use this approach. Let's try a few using this method. 21 minus 9, so I'm going to set two tens and one one. 21, now I need to subtract 9, but notice I only have one I can subtract. So instead I'll subtract 10, but I was only supposed to subtract 9. So I need to move 1 back up, giving me an answer of 12. 21 minus 9 equals 12. Second problem, 55 minus 47. So I'm going to move up 5 tens and 5 ones. Now we need to subtract 47, so I'll go ahead and subtract my four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now I need to see if I can subtract seven ones, but I only have five there. So instead I'm going to subtract 10. I need to remember I was supposed to subtract seven, so that means I need to return three more to compensate. Gives me an answer of eight. 55 minus 47 is eight. Clear the abacus again, and we'll do one more problem, 75 minus 18. So I'm going to move 7 tens beads up and 5 1 beads, 75. Now I'm subtracting 18. Well, we'll go ahead and subtract the 10. Now I need to subtract 8, but I only have 5 that I can subtract. 
So we'll go ahead and subtract 10. But I was supposed to only subtract 8, so that was too, too many. So I'm going to move two more back up. And that gives me an answer of 57. 75 minus 18 is 57.